What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing Ethereum Ether as well as the possibility of becoming a millionaire from holding Ether. I'm gonna go over a lot of important information revolving Ethereum and the upgrade to ETH2, which is gonna introduce staking to the cryptocurrency project and allow you to earn passive income. So I do think Ethereum next to Cardano ADA are uh, gonna be two of the biggest cryptos in this next bull run coming up. And I definitely think both these projects adding staking and passive income is definitely going to skyrocket their market cap and definitely give huge uh, return on investment. So we're going to go into all of that. Before we get started with the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. I'm doing five cryptocurrency videos per week. Also be sure to comment below what are your thoughts on Ethereum for the end of the year and what price prediction do you have for Ether? So before we dive into the Ethereum information that I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys uh, current price of Ethereum Ether is around 250, uh, pretty steady. I definitely think this is undervalued at the current moment, especially since Bitcoin is nearing $10,000. I definitely think Ether leading up to ETH2 staking should be more around 500 to 1,000 dollars. But I definitely think this low price is because um, Ethereum has had delay after delay for ETH2 staking. And I think people are just anticipating more delays are going to be coming. I did make a video about Ethereum staking being laid possibly till 2021. So go to my channel to check that video out if you want. Uh, but many altcoins are looking really good in the crypto space, especially today. Uh, Zilliqa has been going up a lot, 15% today alone. Zero X up 12%. Uh, Kyber Network has been going up a lot, 31% today. Uh, Synthetics Network up 14% today. Lots of altcoins here just skyrocketing. Loop Ring 25%. So we're seeing a lot of the crypto space in the green. Lots of altcoins getting anywhere from 300% to 1000% return leading up to their mainnet launch or introducing staking. Um, so Ethereum is going to be working on a few updates that's going to improve the network as well as phase zero of their ETH2 launch is going to introduce staking and allow you to earn passive income holding your Ethereum, which I think is going to be massive since it's the second biggest crypto in the space and it definitely has a huge market cap. So Sparkpoint SRK, an altcoin that has done 21x in the last three months, just insane. I definitely think this type of gains is coming for many altcoins, especially um, ones introducing staking like Cardano ADA and Ethereum Ether. Um, so this chart is just insane. One week change, 500%, one month change, 1,200%, three month change, 2,100% or 21x. So just insane return on investment. Some people are saying it's a pump and dump, but it couldn't be a pump and dump if the three month change is even higher. So if it keeps going up uh, more and more after each um, different time figure, that's not a pump and dump. A pump and dump is something that goes up and then immediately comes back down to the same price within the next few days. So this is just a project that a lot of people are picking up on. And um, it did, uh, had a very low market cap as well, around 200,000 when I first got in. Uh, so definitely a hidden gem for what they're doing. Uh, there's a video on my channel about Sparkpoint SRK if you want to learn more about this project. Definitely a project you should have on your radar. The price is correcting right now though, so I'm not recommending you buy it right now, but definitely a project you should have on your radar. So something interesting before we get into the Ethereum info I want to show you guys. Uh, this morning, over 10,000 ETH was paid for a small transaction fee. This is in insane and they're calling it a fluke. So the amount of Ether sent in this was only $133 worth, only about half an Ether. The transaction fee was 10,700 Ether average at a price of $2,600,000. Uh, this wallet ended up having over 50,000 Ether in it. So no one really knows uh, the reason behind this huge transaction fee. Um, some people are just saying it's an accident or it's a fluke or a platform. So you, I recommend you always check your transaction fee if you do have one, especially right now the Ether transaction fees are a bit higher, around 50 cents to a dollar I've even seen. And it does go higher the more uh, traffic there is on the network. So we definitely need that ETH2 uh, upgrade coming out very soon. That's going to bring some very important upgrades, including sharding, uh, which will definitely improve how many transactions this network can handle. So uh, an important article, Ethereum 2 staking upgrade can trigger ETH price rally. Uh, so Ether is headed for a supply shock, and that's because staking is coming as well as uh, the many phases of ETH2. So ETH supply will dwindle as large investors flood in seeking steady gains. At present, the annualized rate of return for staking ETH is estimated anywhere between 4% and 10%. 
Fortunately, per the strategist, investors are typically seeking a minimum of 3 to 5% return on investment. So the average investor does look for 3 to 5%, but Ethereum staking is said to have 4 to 10% for the first year. Also, the value of your Ether is going up as you're holding this, and you're also paid in Ether um, in that percentage so that as the value of Ether is going up and you're making more and more through staking, the value of that Ether could be going up too if you continue to hold it. So that's a win-win in my opinion. I definitely think uh, Cardano ADA and Ethereum Ether are definitely going to be having a massive spike in market cap. I definitely think both of them are going to do very well. Many people talk about them as competition, but I definitely think they can coexist just like many other companies coexist with similar projects. It's definitely needed in the space and builds competition. And that uh, makes the projects thrive to do better themselves, which is a great thing. So Ethereum addresses with a balance greater than 32 ETH is drastically increasing over time. The minimum ETH to uh, do staking is 32. So this shows many people are preparing for staking. Uh, many people are probably stacking even more than 32 ETH too because that just increases how much you can earn. So uh, I'm, I am going to go over uh, figures on how much Ether you should be holding for staking and how much payout you're going to get per year and per month and how much um, you would need to become a millionaire off of that as well in certain time figures. So according to Buterin, once ETH2 ships, its theoretical maximum um, insurance will be capped at 2 million per year um, and currently it's at 4.7 million with proof of work. So that's kind of like a halving in itself. Bitcoin halving just happened and that was pretty big. This is reducing it from 4.7 million being created per year down to 2 million per year. So that's less than half. Um, so that's definitely going to help the price of Ethereum Ether rise as well. So uh, there's not only that, but many people taking a ton of Ethereum out of circulation to hold for staking to earn that passive income. So another thing we have to consider is that retail markets will probably be offering the option to stake Ether directly on their platform like Coinbase, Uphold, and many other platforms and wallets. Uh, many already do this with Tezos and other things, even Binance and uh, KuCoin and other exchanges. You could stake directly on the exchange now. Um, they do take a small percent fee, but if you do want the convenience of this and uh, you want to be part of a staking pool, you could definitely do something like that instead of holding the 32 Ether and running a validator yourself. So definitely that's going to bring a ton of FOMO to the space as well. So nearly 120,000 Ethereum wallets are primed for ETH2 staking. Um, the number of Ethereum wallets containing 32 or more ETH has hit its all-time high recently. The number of Ethereum networks uh, balances that include or exceed 32 ETH is nearly 120,000 at this point in time. So this chart here shows it increasing gradually over time, had a massive spike from 2017. Uh, this was around the time it was announced um, that uh, you will need that 32 ether um, this was also before the first bull run which we had at the end of 2017 so i think leading up to the launch of um, ethereum staking and cardano ada staking as well uh, both these projects are going to be moving up very quickly in market cap um, depending how um, ethereum announces this if they put a, a launch date for this or whatever happens um, the price will fluctuate depending on that, but leading up to the actual launch of the um, Ethereum staking is just going to be huge for the price. People are going to be accumulating more and more. Um, I think the price of Ether is lower right now just because of the uh, people anticipating there's going to be more delays since there has been time and time again. But I definitely think they're coming close um, to actually launching staking finally. So in 2020 is realistic but possibly in 2021 at the beginning um, is when staking could be launching for Ethereum. So this is a bullish sign that more and more people are preparing for staking. And the closer we get, there's gonna be even more. I think that's gonna have a massive spike. So uh, this information is very important. I think uh, state of the staking from crypto differ. So currently the largest staked crypto is Tezos. Um, if you guys can see this, 96.5% of circulating supply is staked. That's a massive percentage of the circulating supply. So Ethereum being one of the biggest cryptos, if they add staking and this much of the supply or even anywhere near 50% is taken out for just staking, that's gonna have a huge impact on the supply. That's what that supply shock is talking about. So you guys just have to imagine what can happen to the price of Ether when this massive amount of demand comes as well as a massive supply shock in uh, tons of Ethereum being taken out of circulation to be staked. 
Um, that's a formula for a massive bull run in my opinion. So becoming a millionaire off of Ether with staking coming and many other things as well, updates to their network speed and everything. Um, I definitely think it's very possible to become a millionaire pretty easily with a low amount, especially if you stake for years and you're holding for years down the line. Uh, the bigger this project gets, um, I definitely think uh, right now uh, where the price of Ether is, is similar to where Bitcoin was before it went from $500 all the way up to $20,000 in 2017. Um, so if you check the price of Bitcoin in 2016, I think that's about where Ether is right now, especially with everything coming up. The crypto space has also advanced much more. Every platform has gotten much better. They're offering staking and many other features that wasn't there during the last bull run. So I definitely think this next retail FOMO is gonna be much bigger than the last time. Another chart here, staking overview, just showing the different cryptos you could stake, um, as well as uh, the percent reward and adjusted reward. Um, so definitely I think Ethereum is gonna be very competitive with its reward percentage. Uh, most cryptos here are about 10 to 20 percent some of the very smaller ones that just launched have higher staking rewards but you ha also have to consider these projects are much riskier so if you are taking the risk to hold it for that high percentage payout um, it might disappear or it might just go down um, ether ethereum network is a for sure thing it's already a platform that's developed has thousands of partners on it using it um, for instance reddit just launched uh, using the ethereum network Every subreddit is going to be launching their own ERC20 token uh, for re rewards for their subreddit. So that's pretty huge. I think thousands of cryptocurrencies are going to be coming from that alone. So different exchanges are also offering uh, different forms of staking. Um, as you guys can see this chart, Binance offers a lot of staking. So does KuCoin. So all of these exchanges are probably going to be offering staking as well as Coinbase for Ether once uh, staking is launched, as well as for Cardano ADA. So I definitely think that's uh, gonna help a lot of people get into staking as well. When it's much easier for people to stake that don't wanna run a validator and go through all the technical stuff, they can use, just use a platform like Binance or Coinbase and stake and earn a high percent reward while the platform handles all the technical stuff for them. So that's another aspect I think could help this price move up much quicker. So a very important question that many people have been asking me is what will happen to the ETH I own now? Uh, there's no need to do anything special with the ETH you currently own. It continues to be fully usable on the Ethereum 1 chain. At some point, the Ethereum 1 chain will become part of Ethereum 2, and your ETH will continue to function just as it does now, with no action required on your part. So many people have the belief that you're going to have to trade your uh, current Ether for ETH 2, which is just not true. You won't have to do anything. The Ether you're currently holding, you just keep holding it. You don't have to worry about it. Eventually, it will become part of the um, Ethereum 2 network, and it'll be um, part of Ethereum 2, and uh, no need for you to do anything on your part. Many cryptos have a token swap where they switch to a new blockchain, and then they have to swap tokens. It's a big mess, and many people end up losing coins. So you can rest assured that nothing will happen to your Ether. You are safe just holding the Ether you currently have and stacking and not worrying about what will happen to it or doing a token swap. So uh, staking will turn Ethereum into a functional store of value. This is a very bullish article on Ethereum going over uh, many charts and bullish information. Um, ETH deflation, a look at supply. So the um, inflation rate of Ethereum continues to decline over time, um, especially leading up to proof of stake. Uh, they're going to be the amount of Ethereum coming into circulation is going to be cut by over 50%. So that's a huge thing as well. Um, this chart showing um, again people holding greater than 32 ETH for staking has been increasing uh, very rapidly. Uh, usage of stable coins and decentralized finance has been inclining. Uh, just the beginning of this year, um, decentralized finance was became huge and tons of ETH is locked away in decentralized finance. So decentralized finance is definitely a major aspect of Ethereum, but I think staking is going to be much bigger and have a much larger effect on the network, especially with the network upgrading with sharding and everything else they're working on. So ETH as a store of value, as we mentioned earlier, staking will turn ETH into a positive carry asset, which in turn brings price stability and broadens the investor base. By staking accumulated tokens, investors will both earn yield and help scale the network in a secure way. So this is probably the biggest update um, I think is coming that will affect the price of Ether. Uh, and that's coming up first with phase zero. So now we're going to go over some scenarios of how much 
Ether you would need to hold and for how long to become a millionaire off of just Ether alone. Uh, so I'm using the staking rewards calculator, stakingrewards.com. Um, you could enter the amount of Ether you plan to stake right here, and then it'll give you figures of monthly earnings as well as yearly earnings. The minimum being 32 ETH, you would earn around $1,000 worth of ETH at the current price. But you have to keep in mind that the price of Ether will be going up as the supply dwindles and the uh, demand greatly increases. So if, um, let's say you want to stake 1,000 Ether, which is a huge amount of money at the current price, and uh, realistically most people won't be staking 1,000 Ethereum, more closer to 50 Ethereum or less. This currently at uh, 1,000 Ether is $250,000 to get today. Yearly earnings from this would be $30,000 worth of Ether or 121 ETH. Um, so if the price does go up to $1,000 per Ether, that would then be $121,000 per year passive income. Considered your uh, initial investment is $250,000 and one year later, you have earned $121,000 in passive income just off of that investment as well as your initial investment would now be worth $1 million. So your total amount of ether you have would be worth $1,121,000 on a $250,000 investment. That's the type of figures that I think is gonna get many traditional investors involved in Ethereum, Cardano, and other staking projects. So in this scenario of holding 1,000 ETH at today's price of $250,000, holding it for a year and then selling everything you earned in staking as well as your initial investment of 1,000 ETH, would yield you over $1 million, uh, specifically $1,121,000. $121,000 of that being passive income you earned from staking. Um, of course, these figures can be different. Uh, this is showing 11.7% reward. I definitely think that's gonna be more like six to 10% for the first year. So you could expect less passive income, but uh, nevertheless, if it hits $1,000 per ether, uh, since it already has in the past, in the peak of the last bull run, I definitely think introducing staking and all these projects and focus and all the upgrades coming can definitely push this price past $1,000. Um, if anything close to the staking amount be, uh, being taken out of circulation, like Tezos, 96% of the circulating supply being staked, that just creates a massive supply shock and can, um, at the same time as massive demand coming to the project can just make this skyrocket to new all-time highs very easily. So for the average smaller investor in Ether, 1,000 ETH is just going to be impossible. So let's say uh, 50 ETH is more realistic for the smaller investor, 50 ETH or less. Um, so your yearly earnings would be 6 ETH or current value of $1,500 per year. I wouldn't look at the USD value though. I would look at the amount of ETH you're going to be rewarded and then multiply that by the price you want to sell. So just ignore that USD value because it's valued at the current price of Ether around $250. And there's no way it's going to be at that price once staking is launched and everything else that's happening. So let's say it is $1,000 at the price you want to sell and you did get that e 6 ETH from staking. That'd be worth $6,000 um, from a single year passive income on a $12,000 investment. Your initial investment of 50 ETH is now also worth $50,000. So you'd be at $56,000 in just one year after uh, the launch of staking with an initial investment of $12,400. That's very good in my opinion, uh, better than anything in traditional markets. So I definitely think there's going to be a flood of demand uh, to get into staking um, from traditional investors. A lot of people from the stock market, a lot of millionaires are also going to be coming in. So if you do just want to stake the minimum 32, or if you can't even afford to get up to that 32, there will be staking pools where you can stake as much ether as you want. So don't be worried if you can't make it to that 32 ETH. You can still join a staking pool or do some other type of thing. Uh, Coinbase might not have a minimum as well, so you could just stake there and they take a percent of the staking fee, but um, it does make it easier for you since you don't have to purchase 32 ETH. So there is that possibility. Um, if you're worried that you're not gonna be able to make it to 32 ETH for staking, um, you definitely will be able to stake it still, but it may take some time for these staking pools to come out. Um, so 32 ETH would yield you about 3.8 nine ether per year um, at current price only a thousand dollars but if it goes up to a thousand dollars at the time of you selling after that first year of staking you'd be yielding around four thousand dollars on an eight thousand dollar investment fifty percent from a single year 
And then your initial investment of 32 ETH would now be worth $32,000. So adding that up, $38,000 from a single year of staking uh, that you got for a $8,000 initial investment, just massive. This is definitely gonna be getting a lot of people's attention, especially after a year has gone by. And if there's good figures that people are showing, it's just gonna bring a lot of attention down the line to staking. And I definitely think that'll bring in more and more traditional investors over time. Um, so if you are planning to make um, a million dollars off of just 32 ETH, it's going to take a lot longer. Um, you're going to have to be staking for years, holding down the line, and the price that you sell it of Ether is going to have to be much higher than just $1,000. So basically, it's just some simple math you'd have to do to figure that out. Um, have a price figure that um, you want to sell at and um, compare that to the amount you're staking and um, get a general idea of how much you want to make from this and where you plan to sell. So let's say you are staking 32 ETH and you want to make it to a million dollars. Let's say 10 years down the line, Ethereum Ether price is $10,000. Your initial uh, 32 ETH that you were staking is now worth $320,000. That's not including the amount you earned from staking. And if you include that back in after each reward, you're able to earn more over time as well. So you have to consider that as well. Um, so each year you're earning about four Ethereum times 10 years, you now have over doubled your initial Ethereum amount. You have about 72 Ether. So let's say 72 Ether times the price of $10,000 per Ether. You're getting pretty close, $720,000. Of course, um, if you keep adding the amount of Ether you earn from staking back into your staking pool, you'll be earning a higher um, amount year after year as well. So you also have to consider that. Also, if your dollar cost averaging and buying more each month, and uh, putting that into your staking as well, you're gonna be able to go much quicker. So if you do start with 32 ETH and you're doing a dollar cost average of just um, a dollar a day, I would say you would be able to pass that $1 million if the price of Ether does hit $10,000 about 10 years down the road. Some people are calling for $10,000 at the peak of the next bull run, which could be in the next year to two years though. So we really have no idea what's gonna happen or what the price is gonna be. So don't take these uh, scenarios so seriously. It's just um, a fun, entertaining thing to uh, give a better understanding of how uh, someone with a small initial investment can turn that into a million dollars with Ethereum Ether. So what type of market cap would uh, Ether need to hit that $10,000 level? You have to keep in mind the circulating supply is gonna keep increasing and the amount coming into circulation is going to decrease with the introduction of proof of stake, but um, it will keep increasing over time. There is no hard cap on this yet, but I did hear Vitalik say he wanted to cap it at 120 million, but I um, it could go past that now with staking launching. I have no clue about that. So you do have to keep that in mind as well. So current market cap of $27 billion, it has gone over a $130 billion market cap in the past, in the peak of the last bull run. So to get the market cap you would need for Ether to be $10,000, you would just have to multiply $10,000 by the circulating supply. 10 years down the line, the circulating supply will be much higher. I'm just gonna call it at 125 million, just as a guesstimate. So $10,000 times the circulating supply of 125 million. You get $1.25 trillion market cap. I think that's very, uh, realistic and definitely possible 10 years down the line for ether it could even be much higher you have to consider gold and many other markets have um, multi-trillion dollar market cap there's companies that even have a higher market cap than this so you do have to consider that and i definitely think with more and more companies partnering with um, ethereum and uh, introducing staking and uh, just down the line how much um, ethereum is going to be taken out of supply for staking um, I definitely think this 1.25 trillion is definitely possible. Of course, that could happen at any time in the future. Um, the crypto space could go into the trillion dollar global market cap very soon. I just did a video on this yesterday if you want to check that out. Uh, so Cardano, uh, Charles Hoskinson also um, talked about how he thinks Cardano ADA can hit a trillion dollar market cap and the possibility. So this is a smaller project and I, uh, Ethereum is much larger already. So I definitely think Ethereum definitely would be much higher than that trillion dollar market cap if Cardano ADA did this. Um, so Vitalik, I'd never seen him really talk about market cap in the price of Ethereum in the future, um, but I definitely think with what they're building and doing, it's definitely realistic to pass that $1 trillion market cap if it really does become a store of value with staking and everything else. 
So can you become a millionaire with a small investment in Ether? My short answer is yes, but of course you're gonna be having to stake and hold very long term, um, passing that $1 trillion market cap. Definitely possible, but it will take a lot of time. If you start with a much larger initial investment, it could happen over the next year or two years, especially if you're starting with 1000 Ether. I think that's definitely gonna be possible at the peak of the next bull run. Um, also, you have to look at stuff like this. Uh, how many millionaires are in the world? 46.8 million millionaires. So um, realistically, the circulating supply, there isn't enough Ether in circulation for every millionaire to even have three Ether each. So if there's a massive surge of demand um, in the wealthy population, um, the amount of Ether is just going to be sucked up very quickly, especially offering staking. I think this is going to happen um, increasingly over time as well as more, uh, more and more is added to people's staking wallets. So considering that, um, I definitely think a lot of people are going to be getting into Ethereum for the passive income and other projects with staking as well. I think staking is going to be the next big thing in crypto and lead the next bull run as well as decentralized finance. Being able to earn some passive income on your crypto is huge and we didn't really have that at the peak of the last bull run. So besides just what the Ethereum project is doing and working on and planning to release, there's also other factors that can drive up the price, like inflation. So billionaire Paul Tudor Jones announced he owns a few percent in Bitcoin, uh, just as a hedge against inflation, which is massive. I definitely think many uh, big investors are going to be realizing this uh, with the massive amount of inflation coming up due to all the uh, money governments are printing. Trillions of dollars being printed is going to cause 5 to 10 percent or more inflation per year. The average inflation per year is two to three percent and that's without all that extreme printing so i definitely think major inflation is coming and investors are going to be looking for alternative stores of wealth and uh projects that are offering staking like ethereum and cardano are definitely going to be some of those top projects next to bitcoin and a few others so definitely something to consider um, inflation is going to be coming up quick um, especially if there's a second wave of covid 19 which many people saying there will be in the fall um, that definitely could cause some uh, economic panic and there definitely could be a lot more printing even in the fall. So I am expecting some major inflation coming up in the United States and around the world in general. Uh, so to get a better idea, um, I posted this a while back, your money should be increasing in value with time, not the opposite and decreasing. This is the result of extreme inflation. And this chart here gives you a better idea. The red line here is currency in circulation. Um, the blue line here is the purchasing power of that money. So starting in 1970, the purchasing power of $100 is um, $100. Going down to 2018, it's around $15. Um, so that same $100 can only get you around $15 worth of stuff in 2018. So that's a massive drop in the purchasing power. People don't really realize this over time though because it happens slowly, 2 to 3% per year. If you were holding Bitcoin or Ether and it was going down 2 to 3% per year, year after year, I don't think you would hold it anymore. Um, so that's definitely something I think a lot of people are going to start catching on to, especially because it's going to be increasing much quicker than 2 to 3% per year now with all the inflation and printing that's happening. So this red line here, $1.6 trillion in circulation. So $1.6 trillion, they just printed over $6 trillion in the United States alone. Uh, other governments are printing money too. So you have to consider there probably is some major inflation coming. Um, it will take some time to show in the price of products, but it will happen over the next um, very quickly over the next year to two years. Uh, this image here gives you a good idea of this too. This is McDonald's menu, probably in the 60s or 70s. Um, so as you guys can see, everything on the menu is under a dollar, not even anything at 80 cents or more. So you could eat a whole meal at McDonald's for $1.50, and this is when it was healthier and cost more for production as well. So now a full meal at McDonald's is probably $15. So that's 15 time, uh, that's 10 times the price, a thousand percent increase. That's pretty insane in my opinion, and that's not that long of a span of time. There's also people like Max Kaiser who say the dollar is going to eventually die out so the price of bitcoin and ethereum and others are going to be infinity because eventually uh, the us dollar is going to be worth nothing because it won't exist they'll uh, pivot to something else probably some form of digital currency that china is also currently working on releasing so these factors can also aid in increasing the price and um, making the price of ether and bitcoin and other cryptos go up much quicker 
And I definitely think this inflation is going to have a massive effect on the crypto price within the next year as well. Not only that, but we have massive upgrades coming to the crypto space and staking um, with massive demand coming and a, a huge shortage of the supply of these cryptos. Um, that's only a formula for a massive bull run. So I am expecting a much bigger bull run than the last bull run we had. Definitely think we're going to be breaking that $1 trillion global market cap. At the peak of the last bull run, we only hit about $800 billion, got very close to that $1 trillion. I think next time there will be a couple cryptos that hit $1 trillion themselves. So if that does play out, you could definitely make a lot of money and profit off of holding these staking cryptocurrencies. So Ethereum Network is also huge as it is. Um, as you guys can see, these are all the projects built on as an ERC-20 on the Ethereum network. You have Tether USDT, Binance BNB coin, Chainlink is a massive crypto, um, lots of coins here, Maker, VeChain, Basic Attention Token, Crypto, CRO, uh, Zilliqa has been skyrocketing, ZRX, 0x, um, OMG Network, Synthetic Network, Theta Token, they just launched their mainnet too and had a massive run up as well. So most projects do launch on the Ethereum network just because of it, of its convenience and you get support of all the wallets. Uh, SparkPoint is also an ERC-20 token. So every project that's on the Ethereum network will be receiving the benefits of the, of the upgrades they do with sharding and ETH2. Um, definitely a much faster network. So I definitely don't think people are going to stop using the Ethereum blockchain as much. Um, I definitely don't think many projects are going to migrate off of it as well. Reddit just signed on to make thousands of, of coins using um, the Ethereum blockchain. Many other massive projects. Uh, there's speculation that Visa is going to be partnering with Ethereum and using the Ethereum network to create stable coins for a lot of countries and other banks. So that's pretty huge as well. I definitely think this network is just going to keep growing in size as well as offering staking and decentralized finance. It's just a massive project. Um, definitely has massive potential for huge profit. So this is why it's Ethereum Ether is one of my top picks in the cryptocurrency space. So if you want to learn more about how much ETH, Ethereum ETH you should own, I have an article on my website at journeycrypto.com. Um, it goes over some important information. There's also a video I did on how much ETH, Ethereum you should own, which I highly recommend you check it out on my channel. Um, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, please share the video with anyone that may take interest in this. As well as please comment below what are your thoughts on Ethereum Network and what uh, cryptocurrencies do you plan on staking in the future as well. If you guys have any altcoins you want me to check out also, um, just comment below and I'll definitely check those out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you make it this far, I do appreciate it. 32 minutes is a pretty long video considering my average videos are around 20 minutes. Um, so that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.